this is the place. Let's try knocking and see if he answers. Um, hello? Anybody home? We're looking for Garvapitum. Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Hello, Mr. Garvapitum. I'm Kirara. I have a delivery from Komania Express. I'm afraid the package is quite late. A package? For me? Yes, it's from a Mr. Gulab. What? Gulab? But how is that possible? Yes, it seems your friend submitted the package to our company before he passed. Friend? <laughs> Some friend I am. There was nothing I could do about his illness. And I wasn't by his side during the last moments of his life. Don't say that. After all, you and Gulab are the creators of Genius Invocation TCG. I'm sure Gulab would have been happy to know how popular the game has become. Say what? He's one of the creators of Genius Invocation TCG? <sighs> Why? Why does it seem that misfortune always befalls geniuses like him? Um, if you don't mind, perhaps you could talk to us about it. It would probably help you feel better. <sighs> <sighs> You're right. Maybe I should tell you. You really wouldn't mind listening? All right then. It's not much of a story, really. I knew Gulab ever since we were kids. We were classmates and grew up together. Other than the bandages on his arms, you could hardly tell he had Elazar. He was always positive, peaceful, and kind. Later, we both entered the Academia, and he became a Ratawahis Dastur. If I remember correctly, that's a pretty high position. <laughs> yes, he really was that smart. But before long, the Elazar got worse and led to some serious complications. After that, he became bedridden. He received treatment in the hospital, but had to abandon his research. I would go see him in the hospital every day, even though he said there was no need for me to visit so often. He must have been worried that he was taking time from your own research. I know, but I couldn't bear to just leave him like that. He was clearly the smarter of the two of us. We would have some free time whenever I visited him, so we took some cards and started painting them. Over time, those cards became the basis for Genius Invocation TCG. It's not only a game. When we were designing it, I deliberately incorporated some theoretical knowledge of the elements. I was originally waiting for him to recover, so we could study the subject together. But in the end... Aw, don't be sad. Genius Invocation TCT is the result of your research together. Not to mention, a lot of people are enjoying it now. <sighs> After he passed away, I tried to play the game with someone else. But every time I looked up, all I could see was his silhouette. It was as if he was still sitting there at the table. I know it was all in my head, though. Ah, <sighs> Paimon understands. Paimon wouldn't ever be able to get used to being away from the Traveler. Paimon would probably find herself talking to the wind, as if the Traveler could hear. Yes, everyone else has told me that I have to move on and embrace the fun of Genius Invocation saying that I'm one of its creators. But to be honest, without Gulab, what meaning does the game have anymore? 
Garva Pitum? Perhaps you should see what your friend sent you in the package. Uh, right. Hmm, what's this? A letter? My dear friend, you must be wondering why I'm leaving you a letter like this. It's because... Hey, Gulab, I'm here. How are you feeling today? I gotta tell you, I had an idea for another card last night. Huh? What's that you're writing? <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> okay. Anyway, up for a game? You don't have to visit every day, you know. You should be focusing on your work at the Academia. Hey, enough of that. I'll keep visiting until you've fully recovered. Besides, I can't stand most of the folks at the Academia anyway. Hey, it's your turn. <coughs> Gula, are you okay? <coughs> Garva Pitum, you must understand. My Elazar. Hey, don't talk like that. You just need some more rest. <sighs> it's because you won't come to terms with the fact that I don't have long left. Guess what? This game we invented is getting pretty popular here in the hospital. Really? That's great news. Yeah. I've even made a device to help people find other players nearby. Here, this one's for you. This way, you'll be able to keep playing even after I- Just stop! You're gonna get better, you hear me? I don't need this thing. I don't want it! I imagine the casket of tomes I gave you is probably gathering dust in a corner somewhere. So, this is my last gift to you. I'm sorry that I could only give it to you now. Do you remember when we first met? You were the only one willing to be friends with the kid with Elazar. Now it's my turn to help you make some new friends. This way, I'll always be by your side, my friend. Gulab, that rascal, he was always this way. I haven't played much Genius Invocation myself. All I know is that it has brought joy to a lot of people. As a true TCG player put it, the game allows many people to meet others, make friends, and experience the joy of dueling together. That's right! We've seen that firsthand on our journeys recently. Paimon can tell you those stories if you're interested. Thank you all for your kind words. You're right. <laughs> Gulab. Is that what you were thinking when you left this letter? I've always kept your casket of tomes with me. It was so special for you to draw me a card like this. What a waste it is to never have used it. If he were here now, I know he'd say... Hey friends, how about a game of Genius Invocation TCG? Well, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs>